Now I'm going to disengage and go over here and then fire. Ori, good evening. What is up, my friend? Good to see you. Happy 4th. Ori, this is when you just slip out without saying anything. Just run. Or, Ori, you say, um... I've got to go home and blame it on somebody, you know? I need to help out my parents or my dog. Somebody has to be blamed as an excuse for you to just meander off. It's the party that won't end, huh? <laughs> just run is great, Victory. What can they say? They can't say anything if they can't see you. Yeah, so you, so you use that, or you say, like, oh, you know what, I, I didn't want to wake up so-and-so who was on the couch, so I just ran away. Okay, more research log from the halfling mage, Hompalang. Subject Z is still doing well, have completed numerous further transitions with him, is capable of intelligent dialogue at times, though his species is fairly limited in intellect, seems to have little real clue as to what is going on, and is always asking what time it is. What a fool! I must conjecture that humans are far too tall to have blood pumped all the way to their brain. Still, I dare not risk sending any halflings through the portal yet, and what humans I have sent through since have all died. Beginning to suspect Subject Z has latent magical powers, have seen him move much faster than I thought his species capable, and mend broken objects without any obvious means of repair. These are small things, but I believe the portals may be somehow enhancing a basic ability. We'll need to test more. He still seems quite dumb, though. Said his last journey took three days, when it clearly took but seconds. He began to eat ravenously afterward. I suspect he's just greedy. I saw him staring for a long time at the far portal earlier, but I had my assistants pull him away before he did any damage. Subject Z has vanished. Good job, Subject Z. This is terrible. It was not even during a portal transit. It looked like he simply stepped into his own shadow and disappeared. Ooh. That's a good trick. My research is ruined. There will never be another subject like him. The military are annoying me to no end. I told them to find me more test subjects immediately, but they gave some excuses about enemy patrols in the area. Do they think I care about such trivial things? And now I hear them practicing their fighting in the corridors. They're even grunting and screaming in fake battle noises like stupid children. Do they not realize what an important facility this is? Can they not understand how my genius is disturbed by... What? Uh-oh. Subject Z? Did you get him, Subject Z? <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, if you if you support the uh the Brits heavily on Independence Day, they might be like, uh, it's time for you to go. Not really. Oh no. What did we find here? This is... Oh, my God. Uh-oh, everybody. Speaking of Subject Z, here he is. Or here she is. Subject Z is on me, and then... Yeek Weist is also here. Who is a uh, humanoid. I don't know what's happening, but this isn't good. Um, let me look at these again. They're hostile... Yeek is not hostile? Neutral. Alright, so we need to we need to fight Subject Z if we can, but I'm terrified. Here we go. Alright, first things first. Uh let's go ahead and try to silence him. 
and then pin him down. Oh, he's fighting the other guy. Looks like he's fighting uh, Geek Waylist right now. So, uh, that didn't look good at all. I will. I will keep a lookout for that. All right. Um, we've got Subject Z down to 20% and 9% and dead. Okay, we did it. And I think we saved this guy and we got a crystal focus. Now, what is a crystal focus? I don't know. This crystal radiates the power of the spell blaze itself. Okay. Um, I mean, it's good to have it radiate the power of the spell blaze, I guess. Oh, he's fighting me. I thought he was cool with me. I guess he doesn't like me anymore. I thought we were cool. He's gone. Yeek. We could have been friends. <laughs> hey, Dylan. What is up, my friend? Good evening. How's your satisfactory doing? Where did that thing go? I got the, uh... I got that item that was the crystal focus. Here it is. It's multi-hued. Um, it can be activated to recover the focus. It can be used to combine with a weapon, makes it a non-enchant weapon into an artifact, and it gives you plus five magic and 20% arcane damage. What's funny is I did, um, but then he started attacking me. So he was there, Theraziz. I don't know, but he then he started shooting me, and so I felt like I had to fight back. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I thought he was going to be cool with me. Um, yeah, see, he used Mind Lash and hit me. And he was hostile to me. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping to. It looked like I needed to save him, and I did. But something happened. I wonder if the AoE damage that was dealt by the uh, Subject Z, like, caused him to become hostile or something. Or if I did AoE damage accidentally or something. That's sick, Dylan. I'm only making one modular frame every two hours, so that's pretty good. You, awesome, Dylan. I love that you're installing this. This game is great. You'll love it. All right, we're going to go down one more floor, everybody. We're going to try to see what's at the bottom. As you enter the tunnel, you feel a strange compulsion to go backward. Uh-oh. That's odd. So... Hmm. This dungeon is done. All right, then. Let's go. There's no way out of here, huh? I doubt that. All right. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't think we want any of this stuff. Nah. Take care of that. And we'll go up. And we'll go up. And we'll go up. And we made it. Alright. So we did this. So now, we are level 19. Working to get strong enough to keep the dream alive. Okay. So...
Hmm. Hey. Tarkowski. Hello, my friend. How's it going? Yes, this is normal on, uh... It's not adventure. It's roguelike. Whatever normal roguelike, I think. Oh, thank you, Therese. So, he hates halflings, so you just can't be a halfling and get him to unlock. Interesting. All right, so this is... No, we don't want to go in that town, I don't think. This is... Um... Zigger, which I think because we're friends with the mages, we can't make it there. So what we need to do is figure out... Uh, These are the allied kingdoms. They're friendly. <laughs> hey, hey, Rob. Good evening, my friend. Indeed, I am well away from the explosive explosives. Well, what we're doing right now, everybody, is going into sparkly dungeons to try to level ourselves up. This is Norgos Lair. And Norgos Lair says... Oops. Um... This zone is so easy that we can stroll to the last area. Oh, okay, so this is not hard. Yes, that is correct, Therese's. I just played normal, and this is roguelike. Um, stroll to the last level. What are we going to get here? What's over here? Oh, uh, okay. I see. Yeah, there's probably not going to be anything hard enough in here for me, but whatever. Norgos is a starter dungeon? Sweet. That's what I thought. Well, then. <laughs> I'm just trying to fight stuff so that... Uh... Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. It's Norgos, the guardian. Just trying to level up. Get some experience from something. Alright. Well, we're almost level 20. And we got Stormlash. It's a whip of unbelievable power. Don't doubt my lash. Okay. The lesser vampire. It's not the best vampire. The vault... Wait a minute, where? Hey, thank you, Narkowski. This is my first time playing uh, Halfling Archer, and we've been doing our very, very best to survive. I've been unlocking new character types and things like that as I'm getting into the game. But this is the furthest I've ever been in the game. I was into Dreadfell, but I wasn't strong enough. So I'm just going back out and trying to kind of do all of the other dungeons to level up in the meantime. I did the, uh, the kind of, like the slaver's place in the upper left corner. And then I just did the halfling compound. And I think we did it. Alright. Stormlash. Is this an arcane artifact? Yes, it is. Alright. I don't think anything in here gives me experience, though, unfortunately. The boss did. The boss gave me a pretty good chunk, but I'm going to have to go someplace else to find some some real experience. Oh, what's this? We found a cool hat. <laughs> pretty much, Therese is right about that. So I haven't tried any of the DLC content yet because 
I've been with this character. Thank you, Narkowski. I appreciate that. Well, the only question I would ask you is, um, what what level would you recommend for Dreadfell? For uh, this, you know, do you have a... If you play this game all the time, when do you usually like to go to the Dreadfell? What level does your character need to be? I'm just trying to figure out when it's a safe bet. Or... You know, a better decision. Oh, we got Bill's tree trunk. That's right. I love this area. I forgot about that. Bill. Okay, thank you, Narkowski. I'll have to definitely level up then. I'd, I'd like to be more on the higher end of that. So I'll just keep going around trying to find some um, dungeons. My buddy Thurizis is mentioning something about a underground cave in a lake and needing to be able to breathe underwater. And I wasn't sure if there was like a guaranteed place that I could go to acquire an item like that or a sh is it something that you look out for in shops, or is it just something that you you try to come like get lucky and find? That would be the last thing I need. Like, uh... yeah, this is no experience. I can dream of experience, but not acquire it here. There we go. We made it. No, I'm honestly curious. Lake Noor, Spellblaze, Dearth. Okay, thank you. I'll try all that. Oh, interesting. Okay, thank you, Narkowski. Hmm. Well, let's look around then. All right. Oops. Okay, so, for example, this place, um, this is the Ruined Dungeon, and if I look at it, it says minimum level 10, maximum level 30. What do you think about this place? Mm, that's scary. Is is I assume because I've never played this, but um, in most roguelikes, drowning is just instant death. <laughs> yeah, victory. You like those? Awesome. They're fun. I've been messing with them, I'm trying to add some emotion, some feels. Let's see. What is this place? This is um, the ruined dungeon. Is this reasonable for me? Looks okay. I don't know. Oh, and Kerbal victory. Yeah, those are hilarious. I didn't see your previous comment. I thought you were talking about in this. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like that, my friend. Yeah, I want to learn more about that game. I'm terrible at it. I want to try to not die. Um, there is an inscription here. The river flows in its bed of stone. Yeah, that game is a lot of fun. It was It's way deeper than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's try to pin this guy down. And let's just shoot here. All right, so these are like level 23 ants. That guy exploded. That was odd. Hey! We got a new achievement. Level 20 on roguelike. Got a character to level 20. Yes, we did. This beautiful character. Hey, hey, Mike, what is up, my friend? How's it going? 
So glad you could catch the stream. Um, I got blinded by something. It looks like I can't see. I'm going to walk back out. And Bane of Blindness is doing damage to me. Oh, good, Therese's. It wasn't just me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. I had no idea what was going on, but I couldn't time that parachute at all. I just kept crashing, and it was awful. Okay, let's look at this guy. He's a level 24 vampire. Okay, let's talk to this guy. We're going to luck at the little folk. We're going to pop this. We're going to pop evasion. And we'll just go ahead and try to silence him. Pin him down. Headshot. And headshot. He's dead. <laughs> it is rocket science. That's a good point, Therese's. Dylan, you just finished the tutorial in Tome? It is interesting, isn't it? It helps, but uh, there's a lot going on in this game. Oh, man, Victory. I was so bad at it. I can't, I can't wait to get worse, Victory. All right, I'm going to click on this, and we're going to level up. So we hit 20. So we're going to go ahead and pump this as much as we can. Hit this. Um, and... I don't know. Do I need to be strong? I'm just going to get myself some hit points. Okay, let's go. What class points do I want with this character? What am I using a lot? I think maybe silencing for one more turn seems reasonable. And then what else do I want to raise up? What else am I using all the time? I do use this. Um... Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I use this all the time. Let's go ahead and just keep getting our true shot better. It makes it so that uh, we we attack faster and we have a higher chance to mark. And marking is when everything is really happening for this character. And now we have actually have a category point, which is uh, we can learn a new category. Honestly, I feel like what I might want to do is uh, get an inscription slot. I don't know. Or do I want to modify, like, archery training? It says you can improve a known talent category. Oh, you'll get there through Aziz, but it, oh my gosh, isn't that crazy? This is from a solo dev? I had no idea. Wow. Um, I could boost this up, and then... What would that do? Like, if I boost this up... Let me see if it if I can see any difference. 191... Yeah, I mean, this this would make all of these abilities do more damage. God, it's tough. This is a tough call. Hmm. What do I want to do? Whew. It really is, Mike. That's awesome, my friend. That's awesome. 
Well, what do you guys... Let me ask everybody's opinion right here. I have a category point. I'm level 20 with a halfling archer. And I'm wondering, what do you guys like to do with your category points? I mean, should I be... Should I get a new inscription? This will let me do another spell, like another healing or something like that. Or should I bump up the efficiency of a known category that I use a bunch? Or should I try to unlock a new category that I don't have? Like, you know, conditioning or wild gift or cunning or something else, you know? I'm curious what, what your guys' uh, thought process is here. Having played longer. Yeah. Okay, thank you, everybody. That's kind of what it felt like. I feel like having just another ability. Um, yes. I think I, I did get a category wild gift, I think. I got that from an escort, actually. Um, but I like the idea of having a new inscription because I just want more things that I can do. So now we have a fourth inscription. And that means that... Uh, or infusion, rather. Um, and let's see. We are currently... We have regeneration, healing, and movement. So let's see what we can get. Oops. Okay. Um. Let me see. Where do I set my inscriptions again? I can't remember why I'm having a difficult time finding that. Do 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 talents. No no no. why I'm having difficulty managing my uh, my inf infusions. Let's see. Um, I already have these on, right? Oh, did I switch my weapon set? Oh, let me go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want my sling. I'm back to my sling. All right. Um... I have healing, regeneration, and this makes me go super fast one. Oh, dear God. Now, wait a minute. Do I want to fight this? Hmm. Oh. Alright. Okay. Anyway, let me just walk back out this door and... Uh... Talents, inscriptions, I have movement, regeneration, and healing.
Man, I am standing here trying to figure out, isn't there a screen <laughs> that shows what inscriptions I have equipped and if I want to use another one? Or are they just on my talent bar and that's the only place I can really see them? 